Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is Total War Warhammer 2 playing as the Carrot Cadron and this is episode 11. Last time where we left off we just got attacked by Helm and Gorst at Carrot Cadron. Waiting on him to attack because we definitely can't sally out but we should be safe enough defending it. And over here we've taken the moot. We defeated, I think we defeated one of their, the vampire's armies. I'm not sure actually. But either way... I do know we were planning to take Castle Templehof next. That was next on the agenda. And so we're going to continue along that way now. So let's move. Can we get military access here? No. So we're going to have to go across Astamark and annoy them a little bit. But no matter. They're irrelevant. Let's move here. And go and ambush stance. That way the vampires don't know we're coming. And hopefully we can reach their next turn. And I think that's everything. We're just going to let these rebel. Let them get raised. The humans will take them back. And that is absolutely fine by me. So hopefully this ambush does get discovered by Council Templehof. Um, and hopefully they attack with Helen Gorston. Let's see what happens. Oh, also, before I do that... Let's check our oath goal. 282. Wow, we. There are some decent stuff we could make. I also need to think about our quest this turn. Um, we have defeat a green skin tribe army. Sorry, raid any region. Move a character to Eastern Oblast, which is over here, only completely miles away, and then Wisemond over here. Move any character there as well. Okay, so we need to get a couple of agents, really, because I don't want to send my Runesmith right now. He's too good at supporting our army, so we'll recruit agents as soon as possible and send them to finish those quests, because we would like those items. But let's pass the turn for now. As for raiding a green skin, I could have done that already. I just uh, forgot to do it while I was down south. Although, I, I, to be fair, I don't think I had the quest when I was down fighting against the green skins. So perhaps I didn't miss my opportunity. Probably wasn't a high enough level at that point. Speaking of the green skins... Soon we get getting pushed back quite confidently now by the uh, the dwarfs. Is he going to ask for peace? No, not this time, I'm afraid. Maybe they think they've got us on the ropes. They couldn't be more wrong. He might be Manfred might be moving to support Helm and Gorst at fighting Karakakadrin, but. Um, I'm not too concerned because once we move to take Castle Temple off this turn, which we're definitely going to do now that they uh, didn't move anyone to protect it, there's no, I, I, I very much doubt he'll then move to attack Karak Kadrin because it would leave the rest of his cities exposed. But I've been wrong before. The AI has been very surprising in this patch, so we'll see what happens. Oh no, not Hans Pappenheimer. Oh, they actually took the moot. That's interesting. Hopefully, they're at war with everyone. Let's just check. The moot. Empire rebels. Not at war with anyone except us. In fact, thought well of. What? Oh no, that's towards us. I thought that would show what they thought of uh... okay let's select our there we go Schwartz Hafen are at war with them Fort Overseer's at war with them okay good everyone's at war with them that's fine they'll surely take it back soon so let's go take Castle Templehof for ourselves I could auto resolve I don't really want to take any casualties though Oh, goodness me. Let's just do it. We'll be oh, God, that was the that's a bit too much. Uh, I kind of regret it. It's okay, though. Right, let's occupy that without doing any damage to it. 
Ah, we can recruit here as well, that's cool. Level two. Nothing I really need though. I definitely regret auto resolving that though. Because I couldn't really afford to take those casualties we just took. <laughs> but it's okay. Let's give him Rune of Hearth and Home. And let's hang on. Obstinacy is a very good one for the dwarfs. Give him that. Anything that will help him win this battle. Should still be confident enough to take to, to uh, hold Castle Templehof, but I'd rather have not taken so many casualties, but it'll be okay. Uh, so, Averheim, probably going to lose that next turn. That's fine. Castle Templehof, what shall we build here? Walls, of course. And then we're definitely not going to lose it. If they have, to, if they're going to attack, they need to attack next turn. It wouldn't make sense to wait any longer than that. Let's just see what items we have on our Runesmith. You could take a talisman. Uh, might as well use this. No reason not to. Do we have any? You know what? Instead of spending any money, let's just give him that. That's fine. And what do we have on the Iron Fist? Could maybe make him a weapon for now. And then give it to another lord once he's done. Once he gets his quest items. It's probably a good idea. So let's see if we can make him a weapon. Is there anything we can make? Nothing that good. I think I'll just give him the weapon strength bonus. And then he needs a talisman as well, so let's get one of those. And that's a really good one. Physical resistance and then magical attacks, because I don't think he has them without his weapons, so that's good as well. Get him one of those. To war. And he needed an enchanted item, not a talisman. <laughs> good job. Good job, me. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh well, we've got a decent weapon there. I'll give it to. Uh, I'll give it to the other lords. Uh, armor and defense, extra leadership. We'll give him some armor and melee defense. That'll work for him. I must fulfill my slayer oath. And then over here, basic armor. Talisman. Perfect. Might as well. Okay. I think that's everything for this turn. Let's see what happens. I'm hoping the vampires attack us this turn at Karakadra, and if they're going to do it, hopefully they do it this turn. They might pull their forces back now that we've taken Castle Templehof, because we're obviously a threat in that location. Wow, look at Thorgrim all the way down there. <laughs> Things have really turned around for the dwarf since we were last down there. Good news for us. Join me, men of the Empire. In Ooh, they want a thousand gold, but we avoid annoying them. See if they'll accept five hundred. No, I'm not paying a thousand gold for it. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. Not a fair deal, Ostermark. You are not that powerful. Although, actually, they are looking pretty powerful this time round.
Okay, another rebellion. Not a problem. Stone mines income increased again. That's really good. Rebellion rib peaks. Ah, yes, but we'll be okay there. That's fine. We're going to have the goblins at Gunbad yes. Part 2, it looks like it. Now, this is interesting. They did not move to attack us. So I'm wondering if we could just move to take Castle Drakenhof this turn. Probably not, but I'm not sure. Onward. Could we sack that and move back home? That would be cool. <laughs> so 29% to get there. The slayer in me seeks and then we get an extra 50%, so that takes us to... Yes, my oath is intact. So if I said there... 62%, so potentially could get all the way home. I am the Slayer King. But it never seems to work out yes, <laughs> the same as when I measure it. And I definitely don't want to get caught outside of the area. Ah, oh, to die in battle. I think I'm going to try. we got to give it a go. Bring, bring them. Okay, that is... This is just not at all accurate. So we'll fight this battle. Let's do it. Got to try and take as as minimum dwarf casualties as possible here. It was dwarf, of course, dwarf, but I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean warriors, because we are they're, they're not very healthy already. Dwarf warriors. Let's tack on the left hand side here. Yes. So warriors going to the gate, uh, the walls, gate crew, Garam and Ungram. Quarrelers over here just to avoid archer fire, or rather tower fire, and our goblobbers. For the ancestors. Looks good to me. Warriors. Yes, Lord. Vengeance. Shoot those watocks. Shoot those watocks. I have no idea what a watock is. <laughs> Let's keep everyone on this side. Gonna go fully on the left hand side here. Just to negate any effect that tower will have. And these guys are getting the uh, damage resistance buff and the extra armor, although that's about to expire, sadly. I don't know why I didn't move my quarrelers up. <laughs> Brain is not working perfectly today. What are these? Range far, range. Oh, that's not good. I have to Stop. take this tower out here. For the colors and core. What are these zombies? I don't really want to send the slayers up the walls to tire them out. Should be no bother for these dwarves to take the walls. Nothing but zombies to defend them. So let's instead concentrate our archer fire on these knights who will prove a much bigger enemy once we get down off these walls. I 
think we're actually about to take this, so you know what? Let's not worry about shooting it anymore. And the gates are down. What do we have defending it? Oh, I love this. This is why I love the miners. miners. They bring that gate down and then just blow everyone up. It's great. <laughs> Let's move them back. They're going to take a lot of casualties in that fight if, they, uh, if they're not careful. Especially when they got loads of blasting charges left. I'd rather use them. Come on, let's see it. The clans unite. Ah, they've just got a little bit of grave guard there. You see that? Just in there. Hopefully that doesn't cost us. Fire on these grave guard here. Ah, uh, zombies, sorry. My brain is really not working today. What's going on? The archers are doing a fantastic job, exactly what we need them to do, just ridden of, of all the uh, enemies on the walls. Both the towers are now ours, and I'm just going to stop firing the gob launcher. In fact, I can fire on these crypt ghouls if we can hit them. I don't think I'll be able to, but if it can, then that's fine. And if it can't, well, it makes no difference. Meanwhile, these archers should make short work of these crypt horrors. Who are just going to stand and take it. <laughs> Backs turned and everything. Just making it twice as easy. <laughs> really not making it difficult for us. They do have some units left. They have these knights here. There are Vargeists up here. But the walls are ours. And I think that's most of the main thro threats dealt with. Try and take out these grave guards. Get some of the crypt ghouls as well. Crypt horrors. Crypt ghouls. Oh, good shooting. Very good shooting. Let's get on these Black Knights. Let the rest of these guys take out the Crypt Ghouls that remain. And fire on these guys. There's Garam leading the charge against these last undead on the walls. <laughs> He's doing a little dance, making a little love. <laughs> ah, here comes Ungrim. Should make short work of them now. Oh! -ho -ho -ho! He stopped Fanny and around when Ungram turned up. He didn't want to embarrass himself now that his king's here. <laughs> and Ungram is just tearing them to pieces. Oh, and he hit Garam. <laughs> I love when Ungram strikes, they just go flying. It's great. Again, these Blood Knights not making it difficult whatsoever for us, although they are shielded, so it's a bit harder for archers to take them out. A shield wouldn't help that guy with that, though. <laughs> Did you see that guy just get crushed? <laughs> oh, flying goblin to the face. No one wants to go out that way. Not even the undead. There's just no dignity to it. <laughs> Oh, 
I like how even the undead horses, they're exactly the same, you know? The rider, the rider is uh, knocked off. They just go off, you know? Off to eat some hay or something, who knows? <laughs> there they go. Okay, let's move into the city. There are more horses over here. Well, we can't afford to take any casualties, so let's just move the quarrelers over to deal with them. And same with the goblobber. Oh, they're moving inside. Okay, in that case, what we'll do is we'll move our warriors here, our slayers here with the miners, Garam and Ungram down here, and we'll bring the archers inside. And I reckon this will be enough to finish it pretty quickly once the archers are in range. Oh, they're sending their bats to deal with us. Slayer should make short work of them. Yeah, these bats won't last very long. <laughs> I'm grim felling four of them with one swing there. I don't know what those sound effects are. <laughs> These archers here in range. They're making our lives very easy. Okay. Put the warriors here. The Slayer's here, Ingram over here, Garam over here. And yeah, they didn't even last long enough for me to click anything. And let's send uh, Ingram to finish off Rambert, who is already disintegrating. Rambert! Expected a man. <laughs> Today I learned Rambert is a woman's name. <laughs> Decisive victory. So that's really good for us there. So, the key part was not sacking the city though. The key part was can we now move back to Templehof or have I just screwed myself? <laughs> we'll see soon enough. Let's sack that. Ooh, Pete Gate Guard. Very cool. And yes, we can easily make it home. Very good. Okay, so that was definitely worth doing. Good for us, bad for them. Just what I like to hear. As for this point, I think we'll go for... We'll go for Scarred Veteran. Although this will eventually be good, Ancestral Grudge. It's not going to help us now though. We'll take Scarred Veteran. No we won't. I just had a second thought. We've got the Daring Death Blow, so that actually doesn't really help all that. Or does it? No, it's fine. I'm going to go for that. For Garim, who now has all of his runes, we will instead take Strike the Runes to get that cooldown maximised. I must fulfill my slayer oath. And research. I haven't had to think about this for a while. Um, that could be good, just getting that extra public order. I'm going to go for that, make my public order life a lot easier. Income from all buildings. Oh, 55 turns, my god. No, we'll leave that for now. I'll keep going for this. Ready. Lord of Clan Morgrim. Helmet, staying the course. 
Hopefully attacks us soon. I definitely don't want to take attrition. That could complicate things. Mount Goombad, one turn until it is upgraded. So that's good as well. Another Rebellion Grudge. Okay, here we go. This should be a really good one. Let's do it. Nothing like a siege defense, especially when you're playing the dwarves. Okay, let's pull everyone off the walls first, just so I can sort everything out. So I'm going to bulk the archers and the gunners are in the gates. Let's get that a bit more even. Nope. That's wrong. Gunners here. Archers here. Gunners here. And we'll build it out from there. For the ancestors! For the High King. And then uh, we'll have the usual tactic where as soon as they reach the walls we will relieve the archers and use instead our warriors to man the walls and have the archers down here shooting back up at whatever comes through those towers. For the so we got some long beards here and we'll get some long beads, beards over here. And then backing them up, we'll have some warriors. Warriors. We'll have our Thane at the gate, along with a couple of slayers. Here we got left with some miners. Have them over here. Got any long beards left? We got, we got long beards, we got miners, and we got our lord. Dwarf warriors! There's no point in having him supporting directly behind. We'll have him over here instead. For the slayers on the gates won't hold very long. We'll instead have some long beards. And then the slayers can move in support should they be needed. Miners as well. I think I'll have... I'm actually going to have our lord there. I'll have our thane up on the wall as well. So that right flank is looking a bit weak. Well, you know what? I'll have these miners and slayers over here. There's too much at the gate. You guys are here. So we have plenty of archers, so we need to make sure we don't lose any because they're going to be really important. And uh, I think that looks good. I'm just trying to think about what's going to be cut. So we've got Grave Guard with great weapons over here. You know, we've got to have these guys on the wall in case the um, flying units actually come in. Because we don't have anything to fear from them with regard to um, missile units with the enemy being vampires and okay I think this looks good let's do it come Helmen Gorst let's be having you those are wasted shots let's fire at the tithe let's fire at the crypt ghouls much more useful. Them. Give me vengeance. Faster. We are relentless. Tell you what, it'd be really good to take out that battering ram. Uh, no such luck with this tower. Once the battering ram comes in range, I am just gonna 
pepper it with everyone I've got. Because these hex wraiths aren't really going to do anything if they can't get through the gate. Although these crypt horrors are probably going to do that job for them. But I'm less worried about them because they're easy to shoot. Then again, so are the hex wraiths, I guess. But see what happens. Let's pull these archers off the wall. The same at this end. Feasters in the Dusk. Very cool name. Get these Grave Guards. Get the Slayers up there as well. It's not even bother about waiting. They're annihilating those Grave Guards. Good stuff. Let's get it in the Vargeist. Just pull the Gunners down. Let's pull these Quarrelers down. And then put them across here. I'm going to leave these archers up here. Oh, those warriors are really taking a pasting, though. Let's do this first. Let's shoot these Vargeists. Didn't quite get rid of those Grave Guards. It's a real shame. That doesn't matter. The wall's almost down anyway. Taking down this Morton's engine is a big deal, though, as well. Let's move these Slayers in to kill these bats. As soon as this Mortis engine's down, we're going to take these gunners down in here and put them to fire on the gate instead. How's the right flank doing? Holding very well. Very, very well. Don't need to worry about that. So let's pull our gunners down. And our bows. We have lost these warriors, unfortunately, although the archers did do what I needed them to do, which is to get rid of those Vargeists, so good stuff there. And these longbirds are getting a pasting. Longbirds? Longbeards against the Grave Guard with great weapons. To be honest, it's to be expected. They're not really getting any archer support, so... Let's move these guys over here. Kill on Slayers. I need these bats dead. And there's this this gate is never gonna fall, not with this level of support. And our lord standing right by. Providing moral support. <laughs> That's all he's good for. How is the right flank doing? Holding fine against the tithe. Shouldn't provide any real problem for them. Hellman himself has arrived, accompanied by Graveguard on the right hand side. Let's get our Slayers attack attacking him since they're armor piercing. Actually the miners are as well. They should all they should all be very effective against them. Let's fire on uh, the tithe here. Let's have our archers about face as well and see if they can fire on what's on the wall there. The left flank, how are we doing? Definitely need to fire on these grave guards. These ones are almost gone. And we'll pull these archers down as well. The gate has been demolished. There was never any chance of them getting through there though, let's be honest. Those blue eyes reminding me of Game of Thrones. A new episode came out today. I will not spoil it. <laughs> Actually, it came out yesterday, but I watched it today. No spoilers, don't worry. And that's them dead. That's them dead. Just Hellman left. Let's pull off the walls then. Off the walls. Let's get the gunners over here. And I think we can safely say that Hellman has been annihilated. 
Good battle though. Heroic victory. I think it was. I think it was a brave, brave, brave victory for the Dowie there. Not too many losses. One hundred and forty-six kills here for these crossbows. Very good. Absolutely great battle. Really, really good. And I wonder if his army will be completely annihilated or if he'll get to retreat from that. I think he'll get to retreat. He will. But he is no longer a danger to us at all. And we stole a Helm of Discord from him as well. That's good. And Manfred and Luther, not quite sure what to do here. <laughs> But things are definitely looking bright for the Carrot Cadron. Shouldn't be too difficult to finish off these vampires now. Defensive alliance with Averland. Uh, not really that interested, to be honest. Barak Var has aggressed against the... Yeah, I'm fine with that. Against greenskins, no problem. There's a lot of them. <laughs> There's a lot of greenskins down south. Okay, Rebellion in Rib Peaks. Uh, I don't think that'll pose us a problem. It certainly didn't last time. Killed a bunch of enemies in battle. We defeated Helmand Gorse, so he's got poison attacks. And we are being raided twice. Once by Beastmen and once by the Rebellion here. We'll upgrade these walls, certainly in Gunbad. And we'll also build a gold mining pit and upgrade this. Hang on, let me just check what this is. Oh, this generates 1,500 income right off the bat. Now, that is definitely worth doing. It also gives us extra iron breakers, so we'll do that one first. Um, and that is where I'm going to leave today's episode. I didn't realize how far I've been recording. 38 minutes. <laughs> it's a rather long one today, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, guys.